Today's video, we're going to be teaching you how to beat zone defense from the New Orleans Saints offensive playbook. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and today we're breaking down the New Orleans Saints offensive mini scheme. And uh, I want to talk about zone coverage. And the first thing I want to note is there is this wing trail week. I really like this formation probably most for beating zone. Um, but I know that Zan already broke down a play. Uh, someone was showing it to me. He broke down a play from this. Uh, playbook the Z spot on how to beat zone. So I don't want to break down this formation because Zan's already done that. And you can go check out his channel for Progress Bad. Uh, you can check that out and see that. But what I want to show you today um, is the pistol wide trips and uh, probably a slept on formation. Don't see a whole lot of pistol this year, really. Uh, you know, it's really kind of you know interesting. The formations you see online aren't really what we've normally been seeing. But um, the play we're going to focus on today is the play smash. From pistol wide trips. Ugh, tired. And uh, that's what we're going to focus on today. Um, so this play smash is really not a whole lot you need to do um, as far as um, adjustments. Um, what I like to do, though, is I like to take Randall. And you see that you can motion him out. What this is going to do is it's going to motion him right into the slot here. Um, and it's going to give us an interesting... Uh, interesting uh, position for all of our players on the field. Uh, and so what we like to do with this play is we like to take Randall and we like to place him on a hitch pattern as well. And um, you're going to see we're going to have a double hitch read. Um, and so against the cover three, uh, we're going to be able to hit this seam pass to Witten. And this, these hitch routes are going to really be the main focus uh, for this. Um, now another thing we can do, first of all I want to note, is we can take... Um, your boy Cole Beasley put him on a streak, and what this is going to now open up uh, is this route to street for a nice user catch. Um, but just kind of want to show you through that running through this uh, gauntlet here. The whole idea, though, for Randall, you, all you have to do is pass block him, motion him out. He's going to be on that hitch pattern, quick motions, snap the ball, and what you're going to see is you're able to hit Witten against the zone. Normally, that's going to be your read. Um, the other cool part about this. Um, is that Cole Beasley's route is going to be very difficult to stop when talking cover three. When they have backed off coverage, you could normally throw this route with pretty good, uh, pretty good confidence. You're going to at least complete it uh, for some yards there. As you see the smash route, they're going to really vertically stretch the defense. It's going to force the defense to really have to be aware uh, that you're going to be able to check it down underneath. Now, if they decide that they're going to go underneath coverage, what you're going to be able to do then is you're going to be able to hit uh, street on this corner. I want to pass that to the right uh, and just hit him on that corner route. So um, a lot of really cool things you can do from this, but it's very simple in nature. Uh, real quick, cover two. want to show you that. And against the cover two, you're going to be able to hit this route to Joseph Randall out of the backfield. You see that quick little hitch pattern, and then you're going to actually have some lead blockers upfield for you. So a lot of things you can do really cool with this, uh, but it's all around the premise of overloading the formation to the right side of the screen. And what you're going to see here uh, is that we do that uh, with a lot of success here. Uh, this route to Witten, if you can cut it off, I mean, he is great for that route, and he's going to do a great job for us. Um, and then obviously our run audible down, we've got the, the strong power in our quicks. You don't have to throw that in there, but I would recommend it. Um, and then the other cool part about this is maybe having like a PA wide receiver screen. What this is going to do is it's going to really force the defense to stop playing zone. Um, the wide receiver screen is probably the best zone beater year to year um, that we like to use. And then one other play we have in our audible is wide trail. Um, whoops, I'm sorry. I think I deleted something or something. I don't know what I did. But um, quick slants is kind of good this year, yeah? Uh, but anyway... Uh, let's see here. Um, the play is wide trail, and we see we have the trail route. That's really the the heart and soul of the the play. I just wanted to show you this trail route. Uh, pretty solid, but again, uh, smash is what we really like to use to beat zone most of the time. The smash route to street is more of a pull route. It really doesn't do really that good against zone itself. Uh, what you're going to see is when I step up in the pocket, it's more of an aggressive catch type of thing you're wanting to look to get. But again, um, the whole premise is that um, you know, you're stretching the defense vertically, and we're going to be able to hit them underneath. Um, as you see against the cover three, if they, if they stay underneath, we're going to be able to hit them over top. Bad throw by Whedon there to Witten. But again, uh, you get the idea here. Um, another thing you could do if you wanted to is put Randall on an end pattern. Um, this is going to change some things a little bit, but it's going to kind of, most part, keep your same reads across the board, um, and so things like that. Uh, man coverage, real quick, just want to show this. Williams' is route, when it cuts to the inside, is going to beat man, um, so you're going to be able to use that to beat man-to-man. -man. Um, the corner route doesn't do that good of a job, but the hitch pattern, um, real quick, just want to show you this. The hitch pattern to Beasley, 
Uh, what you're going to see here is a low pass lead, so just hold the left trigger when you throw it, hold left trigger, and you're going to be able to beat man with him. So that is the smash, and that's the pistol wide trip formation. I personally do recommend the gun wing trio weak, but uh, you can definitely do whatever you, you want to. Um.